First of all, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Walmart employees and their families of the two victims who were senselessly murdered this morning in our city. These people were doing the same thing that you and I do every day. Showing up for work in an attempt to provide for their families, and they became victims of a senseless, violent act. So at 0633 this morning, the South Haven Police 911 call takers began receiving calls related to an active shooter event at our Walmart Supercenter, which is located at 6811 South Crest Boulevard here in South Haven. There were also reports coming in that a fire had been set on the interior of the building. At 0636, our first officers began to arrive on scene. There were approximately 60 Walmart employees on the interior of the building as our officers began to arrive. Our, our officers began to attempt to locate the suspect at this point. Uh, two of our officers encountered the suspect out, outside on the west side parking lot of the building. One of our officers was shot at this time. He was saved by his vest. Our officer is currently in the hospital recovering with his family. At this point, the suspect was engaged by another officer. He was struck twice by gunfire from our officer. He was taken into custody. He has been transported to Regional One Medical Center, where it is my understanding that he is currently in surgery. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation has been called in to work the officer-involved aspect of this shooting. The South Haven Police Department is handling the criminal elements of the assaults on the Walmart employees. Uh, we still have a very active scene. I just left a few minutes ago. Uh, we're still clearing the store in the parking lot with the assistance of the Shelby County Sheriff's Department bomb squad uh, due to a suspicious package that was located inside the store during our officer's response. I have to mention that two weeks ago, the entire South Haven Police Department, along with the entire South Haven Fire Department, all members underwent active shooter training here at one of our schools. I want to take a moment to thank all the agencies that responded today to our city. Obviously, the fire department was there within minutes. DeSoto County Sheriff's Department had multiple units there within minutes. Horn Lake Police Department. Olive Branch Police Department. FBI, ATF. Again, Shelby County Sheriff's Office. Mississippi Highway Patrol. U.S. Customs. Memphis Police Department. United States Attorney's Office. Mississippi Bureau of Narcotics. Uh, we received phone calls from the Director of the Department of Public Safety, United States Attorney, AUSAs. Uh, we, we have had an overwhelming response here. Uh, at this time, that's all I've got. I'm not going to take any questions related to this case at this time. As I said, it's still a very ongoing investigation. It's still very fluid. Uh, just pray for the families of the victims at Walmart and also pray for our officer as they recover. I don't know if our district attorney has anything he wants to say or the mayor, but uh, we'll, we'll probably have something else for you all this afternoon once we get a little further into the investigation. As I stated, it's still very fluid. We haven't cleared the scene yet, uh, so if, if we can release something else to you later on today, we will. Thank you.